All right, welcome to my class. I always have the music playing when the kids walk in. And you can see we have the schedule and over here we have the spelling list. The student of the day is alphabetical. And here we change this from you can talk to please listen if I am doing direct instruction. Over here we have ways they can earn money and I'll show you that in a second. Some math multiples, a calendar with everybody's birthday, the class rules and uh, reading chart. And here we have the class songs. I chose the first five and the rest were all chosen by students. And we go over here, we see the daily schedule. We see my class mascots, a giant sloth and a dinosaur. And over here I have this chart with all their names on it. And I move it up and down as they're behaving. Now, if they get to the top, they can earn dollars to spend in our store. So, this is what the dollars look like. I have ones, fives, tens, twenties, and a hundreds. The kids decorate them. And in here, on Friday, I open the store where I have all kind of mochis to buy, which there is their favorite. And I have all of this extra stuff. They're all different prices. They have to use math. It's only open on Friday. And let's see what else. Here's the bank where they can put their money. Oh, and when they first walk in the classroom, they can pick one of these activities where they earn money. So they, tomorrow they can have a fraction paper, a writing prompt, or this multiplication and addition practice. So that is my class. Thank you for watching. Oh, and I have a word wall of all of our spelling words that we've had this semester. And over here we have their names are written on all of these um, cubbies and when they are absent, I put the papers in and give it to them. It's a little messy, but that's okay. And over here we have all of their birthdays written on the cards. We've got uh, uh, pillows, which are a little disorganized, so oh well. And we've got the class library. Um, and right now we are reading Charlotte's Web, so we have some of those. And I have some of the songs that we've done on the walls of the lyrics. And I have more songs that I tape up. And here is a map that one student drew in her free time on the weekend. I'm so proud of her when we were studying maps. And here's our schedule for the week. And that is my third grade classroom in Columbia. Over here we have some examples of nouns and verbs that the students made. And over here we have some activities that students can do if they finish early. I have flashcards for math and phonics. I have some puzzles. I have blocks. I have these fraction things. And yeah, early finisher activities. They also have tons of papers they can do if they want to.